What is up, it's XML. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I want to talk a little bit about this guy named Dan Wooten. Wooten. And he's upset. He's angry at the Johnny Depp supporters. He's appalled. And he had a few choice words to say about Johnny Depp as well as the supporters. He was talking about that. Come see me. Catch me if you can. F y'all. Y'all suck. <laughs> he didn't say all that. And in case you're wondering who Dan Wooten is, because I didn't know. Google says that he's a New Zealand born British journalist and broadcaster who holds New Zealand and British citizenship. He was executive editor at the Sun newspaper. This is by the Daily Mail and it says Johnny Depp is not a victim of cancel culture. He spent years trying to cancel Amber Heard and me. This farce of a trial is designed to ruin his ex-wife, but won't erase the damning judgment against him. He goes on to say after dragging my ass through the high court for two years, years which resulted in a humiliating loss for him and complete vindication for me i genuinely intended to never talk about johnny depp again i actually feel sorry for the former hollywood icon who has become a pathetic excuse of a man a human being with so much all the money in the world access to the most influential people children who love him fans who stick with him through literally any form of documented and provable bad behavior including abuse of a female partner, has become consumed with an overwhelming and uncontrollable desire for revenge at any cost. Ruining his ex-wife Amber Heard is his goal, no matter how much it costs, how many lives it destroys, and how much it taints his own reputation forever. But after watching the vile court case develop in the U.S. over the past couple of weeks, I feel morally compelled to speak out. Because a completely incorrect narrative is developing that Depp is somehow the victim of cancel culture, a vile trend spreading like a plague through the Western world that I deplore and spend my professional life campaigning against. All right, let me chill out and read it like a normal person. I just, when I'm reading this, I feel like the vibe, I can feel like his tone, like anger and just hatred and just, you know, just I built up over the years. But anyway, he goes on to say the suggestion is farcical. Given this entire mess is Depp's own making. And if anything, he canceled himself. In April 2018, the now infamous column I wrote in my former newspaper, The Sun, which referred to the actor as a wife beater in an online headline, which actually was about J.K. Rowling's hypocrisy for backing Depp over Amber while claiming to be a proponent of the hashtag MeToo movement. While I believed it to be an important piece of work, it would have been soon forgotten if he hadn't insisted on suing me for reporting overwhelming evidence was filed to show Johnny Depp engaged in DV against his wife, Amber Heard. To me, that was indisputable. And in a November 2020 ruling, Judge Justice Nichol, who sat through 16 days of harrowing evidence at the Royal Courts of Justice in London, including from Depp and Heard themselves, agreed what I'd written was substantially true. Specifically, he found out that 12 out of the 14 incidents of DV with, by Depp against Amber had occurred. In a damning conclusion, Justice wrote, Taking all the evidence together, I accept that she was the victim of sustained and multiple assaults by Mr. Depp in Australia. He added, I accept her evidence of the nature of the assaults he committed against her. They must have been terrifying. Crucially, he also rejected claims by Depp that Amber is a gold digger. So categorically was the verdict that Depp was later denied an appeal in order to pay my legal costs, which that is true. He had to pay the cost. Any sane individual would have accepted the ruling and attempted to clean up their act and move on with their life. But Depp simply moved the sideshow to the U.S. Despicable. And it continues. He's suing Amber for an article she wrote in the Washington Post that he says implied he was violent towards her, even though she never included his name in the column. Depp is banking on celebrity justice because this is a jury trial where his star power could influence the verdict. And once again, completely against her will, Amber is being forced to have the details of a toxic relationship she has long wanted to move on from make international headlines for weeks on end. But it's worse than what's going on inside the courtroom. Amber is being subjected to inhumane attacks by a group of sick individuals called the Depp Heads. First time I ever heard of that. Who have been on a sustained campaign to discredit her for years. I know all too well how despicable these keyboard warriors are because they have relentlessly targeted me over the same period. Just one example of their depravity I've experienced personally. Depp's trolls spread the sick lie that I had been R-word by a priest at a neighboring school to mine in New Zealand 
rendering me as sympathetic to her because I had been damaged by S.A. in my own life. This sort of online campaign I remain subjected to even now pales in significance compared to the torment they unleash on Amber, a young mom facing bankruptcy, her career ruin if she loses the case every single day. The depth head cultists who stalk the courtroom and issue regular death threats have seen the Aquaman actress forced to increase her personal security. You animals! This trial has been an isolating experience for Amber, whose every facial expression, wardrobe choice is analyzed compared to Depp, who treats his court appearances like a rock concert where he's greeted by the giddy fans. <laughs> The Depp heads effectively use social media, especially Twitter and TikTok, to brand her as crazy, a sentiment they have helped make acceptable. Amber was even attacked by these trolls online for wearing glasses in court as a sign of narcissism, when in fact, she needs them in order to read. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> the Scottish activist Eve Barlow, one of Amber's few champions in the media, who has been supporting her at the trial correctly believes her friend is being re-traumatized. She told me during Depp's disastrous libel trial in the UK, the world learned that he promised global humiliation for Amber Heard. By the way, the US trial is being depicted in the media. It appears he has fulfilled his promise. Not only does the media bias continue to be wholly imbalanced in favor of Depp, with notable omissions from press coverage about every damning pieces of evidence against him, the social media landscape is shockingly brutal for Amber. With TikTok and Twitter especially becoming insensitive and oversimplifying platforms prone to spreading disinformation and misogynistic hate. Whew. The live broadcast of this trial is highly dehumanizing and has resulted in obsessional nitpicking over Amber's wardrobe every day and her facial expressions as she's subjected to disproportionate criticism while Depp sits there in court smiling, doodling, and laughing with his counsel backed by an army of vocal Twitter fans who are sat in the public gallery. It's a very re-traumatizing event and one that has the power to affect other survivors of abuse. But it's not only Amber's pals who have noticed the horror of what she's being put through again. Countdown star Rachel Riley referring to Depp's court loss against me tweeted yesterday. There has already been a judgment so detailed. It's 129 pages long showing Depp to be a monster. How so many people can help him abuse his victim now is completely sickening. I can only imagine anyone defending him has not read this judgment and hopes no one else has either. No one in their right mind could defend this man. On the last day of Depp's trial against me in July 2020, Amber pleaded that she just wants to be allowed to move on with her life. It is Depp who's refusing her that opportunity. By the way, it's laughable to suggest the bloke has been canceled. He remains the face of Dior Sauvage, which is advertised on billboards everywhere, continues to be cast in movies, and has traveled the world being lauded at a host of film festivals. The fact Rowling finally dropped him from Fantastic Beasts franchise was more to do with her embarrassment for her Hollywood hypocrisy, which I first pointed out when I wrote my original column. Johnny Depp is not a victim of cancel culture. He's a proponent of it. He tried to cancel me and failed in London libel courts. And now he's trying to cancel Amber Heard in the US. Shame on him. You guys tell me your thoughts down below. This is, I thought this article was pretty interesting. This is the guy that wrote that paper and he's lashing out. He's snapping. He's not, not only snapping at Johnny Depp, but the supporters. He's saying you guys will support anything. It doesn't matter what he does. You support him 100%. I'm like I said, yo, I'm, I've, I've become biased during the trial. I wasn't into this stuff before. I just learned about this whole story now, but I am keeping an open mind. I am curious to hear what they're going to bring up on the other side. Uh, but I think there's been so many damning things that have come out already. So many lies that have been come out already, especially like the ACLU stuff, you know, allegedly comment down below. Let me know what you think about this guy, Dan Wutan.